Do you know where the statue is? If you said New York, you'd be wrong. And do you know why this is possibly the most famous Sears kit house ever built? Well, stick around and I'll tell you all about it. I'm building a 112 scale model of a Sears kit house. It could have been built on a stone foundation or a frame foundation. The model I'm building is going to be built on a frame foundation. The house would have sat on concrete blocks. Today, I'm going to be making the wooden blocks look like concrete. Before I get started, I want to take you on a quick trip to Paris, so come along. Our first stop is the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower, sometimes called the Iron Lady, was constructed between 1887 and 1889 and was the centerpiece of the World's Fair in 1889. The legs of the tower slope inward as you go up the tower. Here we see a cleverly designed tram which takes the visitors up the tower. The trams are designed so that the floors of the tram are always level. This is a view you can only get from riding up the tram in the tower. Let's head over to the Louvre and have a look at the Mona Lisa. A lot of people are quite surprised when they see the actual size of this painting. It wasn't as large as I envisioned it, and it's not really that large compared to the other paintings, such as the painting called The Coronation of the Emperor of Napoleon. It's 20 feet high by 33 feet long. So switching back to the Eiffel Tower for a moment now, did you know the framework of the Statue of Liberty was built by Alexander Gustav Eiffel? Yes, the same fellow that built the Eiffel Tower. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from France to the United States in 1884. The statue arrived in New York Harbor by ship and it was contained in 214 crates. If you've been following along with my previous videos, I'm sure you might see the similarity. This reminds me a little bit of the Sears kit houses which were sold between 1908 and 1942, which arrived by rail from Sears. The rail car contained 30,000 pieces which the customer had to assemble to build the house themselves. It was said the houses could be assembled in just three months. It took me longer than that to assemble my last IKEA bookshelf. If you want to know more about Sears kit homes, check out the link in the description or the link at the end of this video to my previous videos. And this one quarter scale replica of the Statue of Liberty was given by the United States to France in 1889 and it's located in Paris. And you might recognize this house as George Washington's mansion in Mount Vernon, Virginia. But no, this house too is located in Paris. Sears Roebuck was awarded a contract by the US government to build a full-size replica of George Washington's mansion in Paris for the Colonial Exposition in 1931. This replica was made of red cedar just like the original. Sears got the contract for construction for $75,495. Sears got the contract because they said they could build the house quickly. They advertised that their houses could be built within three months. The original plan was to deconstruct and pack up the house and ship it back to the United States for the Chicago's World Fair. However, a more cost-effective solution was found. The structure was sold to an American living in Paris and the house still stands in Paris to this very day. And in 2013, the 11,000 square foot house was up for sale for an estimated $22 million. So let's have a quick jaunt back to America. The original 200-acre Mount Vernon estate, the one that overlooks the Potomac River, you know the one this guy lived in, George Washington's house. The house is flanked by a building on either side of it. This building was the servants' hall. This building housed the kitchen for the house. The kitchens were often separate buildings in case of fire. Looking inside, we see the kitchen, a small dining room, and the west parlor. On the roof of the mansion is a cupola. The windows could be opened in the hot weather. The cool air could be drawn in through the windows on the lower floors, and the hot air would rise and could be expelled through the open windows in the cupola. If you've been following the previous videos, I talked about cool pantries and Sears kit houses, which used the same principle to keep cupboards within the house cooler so that you could store food at a lower temperature than the rest of the house. Check out my previous video on Sears Kit House Kitchens where I talk about this in detail and show you some video footage of a pantry in an older house. I'll put a link in the description. I will also link the website for George Washington's Mount Vernon Estate. 
It's a great website. You can take a virtual tour of the whole estate. If you are enjoying this video, please like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. I'll tell you what's coming up in the next episode at the end of this video. While the house appeared to be made of sandstone blocks, it was actually made of pine boards. These boards were cut like blocks and painted with lead-based white paint. They throw pounded sandstone on the wet paint to give it texture. This changed the color of the house from white to a cream color, and the crushed sandstone gave the wood siding a texture that made it appear that the house was made of sandstone blocks. Today, I'm going to be making the wooden blocks for the 112 scale model house appear to be made of concrete using a similar technique. Hey, wait, 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 we're, we're not done yet. Thank goodness I caught you before you left. I just wanted to tell you, in the next video, I'm going to be talking about and showing you a ghost town. And we'll be attaching the concrete blocks to the floor assembly of our 112 scale miniature model Sears kit house. So make sure you like and subscribe because you don't want to miss it. We'll see you in the next video.